Don't trust everything you see. Even salt looks like sugar. Hey there, how you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So, what are we looking at today with the cryptocurrency markets? As always, this stuff is exploding. I mean, we're about to open the door into 2018 and the world wants in on this stuff. Uh, we're coming in at $353 billion for a market cap. I mean, this is tremendous. Uh, you know, when all of this stuff started off, when I got into it, I mean, this was completely unexpected or else I would have been so much more all in, right? Uh, we got 14.1 billion traded in the last 24 hours. I mean, it, that's also, I mean, these numbers, they're huge. Uh, we got BTC dominance that's up there a little bit, coming in at 55.9%. So, eh, that's right there about where it's been. Uh, let me see. What do we got? Looks like we got a day of growth everywhere. I mean, this is amazing. As always, IOTA, wow, continuing to explode up over 300% over the last week here. Uh, they're up about another 34% in the last 24 hours, coming in at $3.15. Uh, they've definitely made their way onto the list here. <laughs> Let me see, what do we got here? We got Bitcoin coming in at $11,808. That's up 4.2%. Uh, you know, we're about to be breaking into some all new highs. We're gonna be going into $1,200 here, possibly. Uh, maybe before the day's over with the rate Bitcoin seems to be going. Uh, let me see, what do we got? We got Ethereum at 464. That's up 0.4%, so at least they're holding stable, right? Uh, we got Bitcoin Cash, they're up 2.1% coming in at $1,563. Uh, let me see, what do we got here? We got Ripple, and they're down about 0.4%, so no big deal there, about 24.9 cents per Ripple. Wow, I remember when that stuff was so cheap. Uh, let me see. Like I said, we got IOTA. They're up 34%. They're at $3.15. Uh, we got Dash. They're up 1.6%, coming in at $767. Crazy. You know, as the year comes up, you always start rem are reminiscing and remembering the beginning. And every time I go through this price, it's like, I remember. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have to be doing the same as of recently. It's it's definitely a moment of wow. And it helps prepare you into what's going to be happening in 2018 and how much more. You know, it seems like the more you understand, the more you see the stuff, the longer you've been here, the more you want to be investing into it. And that's definitely my feeling as I'm moving forward. So, I mean, we got Litecoin at $102. I mean, I've been crossing my fingers all year for that one, right? Right? And we're up 4% right there to make it. Uh, let me see. We got Bitcoin Gold coming in at $319. That's down half a percent. No big deal. Uh, Monero, 232. That's up 18%. Wow. Uh, that's amazing. They're, I mean, over $200. That's great. Uh, we got Ethereum Classic, the underdog, at $29.97. They're maintaining right there. They're, they're down about 0.17. No big deal with that. Uh, we got NEM at $0.28. Cents. That's up 5.9%. That's awesome there. Some sideways movement out of Zcash at $3.22. And we got Steam climbing 10%, $1.48. And we got that steam packed dollar coming in at a crazy $2.25, and that's a 0.37, right? So, what are we looking at here for news? All right, well, first up, sorry that yesterday's episode was a little rush. Uh, I slept an extra moment and it put me way behind uh, a couple minutes late to work but i am super happy about that 75 or 80 dollars i think it's up to on uh my steam it post yesterday so thank you for everybody that upvoted that that's absolutely amazing that's one of the reasons i'm always telling you guys to get out there on steam it you never know and the free cryptocurrency it makes it well worth it i mean we're all using social media platforms anyways so uh let me see what do we got here Crypto kitties, right? I mean, it exploded yesterday across all the YouTube videos. Everybody was talking about it. Um, you know, I do this stuff with my wife. And as she was sitting there looking on, she was like, what is this Crypto Kitty stuff? Because she's also a cat lover. So next thing I know, I'm over at the Crypto Kitty site. I'm looking at it myself. My MetaMask wallet's open. I'm sitting there looking at the price. I'm like, $40 for a kitty? Damn. And then I went and watched some videos. This stuff was going for a couple dollars a few days ago. Next thing I know, I'm trying to buy one. <laughs> right? But I don't know. I don't know if it's thankfully or how you want to look at it. If I missed out on an opportunity. But it really clogged up the Ethereum network yesterday. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, that's a lot of pros and cons right there. That this one amazing dap or whatever as people are calling it. Uh, you know, that's all it took to stop up the Ethereum network. Uh, I mean, fees were getting to up to almost $5 to be able to buy one of these cats. In addition to the cats prices like doubling and tripling over, over the day. Um, 
They got another one coming out. I mean, I guess I'm trying to see if I can get on get in on that one. It looks a little more, I mean, it's pets. So, I mean, I'm not super a cat person. I mean, cats are all right. I mean, but you can see I've had dogs. So, uh, I mean... It's cool. I mean, you know, when you see new technology like this, there's always two ways of thinking. Either, you know, you can be scared of it and standoffish and not embrace it, or you can, you know, open up the curiosity part of your mind and, you know, want to understand it and see what's going on and why these people are embracing it so much. So, as always, I try to, you know, take the ladder and I'm embracing it and I'm trying to see what's going on. The cats weren't working for me, though. I'm not, don't know if I'm going to spend $40 on a cat, but this next one with the pets, if this stuff continues along, I might try to get into it. I'll let you guys know how that stuff goes, right? Uh, let me see. What else do we got? Futures trading. Uh, you know, as we continue, the CBOE, uh, the Chicago Board Options Exchange, uh, they're going to be starting their futures trading on December 10th. So, I mean, <laughs> before you know it, here at the end of this month, trading is going to be in full swing, futures trading. So, we're going to see how well that's going to be affecting the price or if it's going to be doing anything at all to it. Um, you know, let's all have our fingers crossed that this does amazing things for us or at least helps keep the price, of, you know, from pushing downward, you know, downward pressure on the price in any way that it doesn't help manipulate it in some other way because that would be horrible. And then for the last piece of news I got today, uh, we got Bitfinex. They're hiring lawyers to stop bloggers. Um, or to stop this blogger that's out there, you know, spreading a lot of fud about them or whatever, you know, whether or not it's true from this million dollar a day company, uh, you know. You know, there's a lot of controversy on what's being with that. But, hey, I thought I'd bring it out there to you guys that they're actually going to be hiring a lawyer to stop some of this blogging that's going on about them, bringing down, their, bringing down everything that's happening there with them. So, you know, hey, uh, it seems like a little bit of overkill there, but there might be some reasoning behind that because they want to shut the guy up. So, eh, you know, you got you to gotta lean with that one. Uh, you know, with Bitfinex, I mean, we're already out of it here in the United States. So, I mean, I've used Bitrix and Kraken and Poloniex and all the other ones. So, it, it doesn't really bother me that much. But, I mean, I know they're one of the bigger exchanges. I know a lot of people are invested in it around the world. So, if you like everything that's going on here on Bitcoin and Coffee, I need you to hit that subscribe button. I mean, the numbers are starting to pick up around here. That's awesome. I love having new people in the community. It's great. We're trying to get the news out there in under 10 minutes. You know, trying to share some of my ideals since I've been in the space for a little bit longer than some of the new people. Uh, you know, no trading advice. We're trying to avoid those high risk, high reward situations. Uh, I got tools, affiliation codes, trying to get your hardware wallet so you can protect your crypto the best way you can. And as always, free help desk service at Eugene Forrest at 20 at gmail.com. Uh, if you've been having any trouble with your uh, uh, Ledger Nano S after you went ahead and used your Bitcoin gold tool to split your wallet. Um, if you're having trouble with syncing, write me an email. I want to talk to you. Uh, I've been hearing about this and I want to see what's going on with it if I could. And as always, donational address is listed down below. If you got that extra crypto, if you're feeling the holiday spirit, you know I'd appreciate it. Definitely helps motivate all of this. Or come on over to Steam, press up on my vote. You know, it's amazing. It helps. You've seen what happened yesterday. And if you're not on Steam, you should get over there collect that free crypto when you can get it. And as always, remember, keep your Bitcoin safe.